What's going on with y'all? We are back with another one. I look different. Ooh, your boy look good. Ooh, what I'm telling you, I cut my hair. Why? A lot of people ask, why did you let the wicks go? And why are we going back to the waves, sporting waves? Why? Well, it's because I was ready for a change. Ready for a change and my hair was thinning out. I'm gonna put a picture in here and show y'all you know how my hair was thinning out because it was pretty bad. The wicks, it was only the two in the front. One here, one here. They were pretty bad. The rest of them were doing pretty well. I can't complain. My battery's about to die. So I'm gonna recharge and then we're gonna start this all over, run it back. And I'm gonna give y'all the full story and breakdown of why I cut my wicks. You understand me? All right, I'll tap back in. Give me one moment. All right, y'all. So I'm back. This time I put the Dewey on. The suey was a little tight, so I was like, let me come a little looser. Pause. But, um, yeah. So, I cut the wicks. I had to let them go. I feel like it's a smooth look, though. Y'all only see the edge up one day. I really didn't get an edge up. After I cut the wicks, I had a little fro for about a week. And then I got tired of the fro because initially I just initially wanted to go back to waves. <clears throat> I was just like, I'm ready to go back to the waves, get these up out of here, you know, change. But why the sudden change? Why? What happened? What's going on in your life? Everybody say, you know, when you do a big chop, you got a crisis or something going on or, whatever it may be that had you relinquish the threshold of your vascular follicles growing out of the head, you know. Uh, but I did it because I was just ready for a change, really. I wanted to do something different, something new. The wicks was cool. Uh, the only thing, I don't really feel like it held me back at all in any type of ordeal. I just felt like I wanted to get back to my more professional look as far as when I'm doing like job hunting and stuff like that. I loved my hair. I don't think nothing was wrong with it in that aspect because you're going to accept me as I am. But, you know, I just was like, you know, that clean cut look, you can't go wrong with it, you know. And then I missed the waves a little bit. But then also we had that my hair was unhealthy. So when I first started growing my hair out, I was working at a company and they had us wearing hats all the time. And this was, I started with the company pre-COVID and then I kept working with them, you know, during COVID and all that. And post-COVID I moved, but I didn't, I started growing my hair out during COVID 2020. And at this job, they always made us wear hats excuse me so hat on hat off hat on hat off rubbing against the front of my hair breaking off my hair all the time just sitting it on my head sometimes it's mushing my hair down just it was just doing a lot of damage to my hair and then i wasn't taking the best care of my hair with the oils and washing my hair and taking care of my scalp and all of that because i do got a dry scalp and you know, just making sure we stay clean and all that and strong. So with that being said, you know, I just wasn't having a healthy journey as far as my hair was going. I started out with free forms, free forms. That was probably another reason where I was trying to, you know, switching from free forms to regular locks and then trying to go wicks. It was probably, you know, it was a process. It was, it was definitely a process because my hair wasn't healthy. So it was a pain getting those uh, free forms loose and locking them. 
and then some of them was Congos because of the free forms, which I loved and missed that. And then um, then we locked it. You know, my hair was locked on the top. It wasn't as healthy. Had a lot of breakage, a lot of them falling out and stuff like that, or hanging on by a thread. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let my hair grow for about three months. Just let it grow, do what it do. And I'm gonna try wicking my hair and see what it do. And initially it was cool. It did good. And then I started seeing that breakage again where my hair would not hold on at the roots. And that was the issue. And it was only up here, like only right here in the front too, where I had them front two wicks and I had them few locks up there. These was the two areas that they just would not hold on. Everywhere else on my head was good except here. So one day your boy might be bald. That's what that's giving. That if this keep breaking off up top, everything else is nice and thick. Then y'all gonna hit me with the George Jefferson one day? I don't think so. So before we even got there, cut it. It be way too high. You need to, hey. You feel me? Cause um, yeah, I can't come like that. So um, yeah, we cut the hair. Came waves. Well, come fade. You know, we trying to come back ways. You know. Um, but initially, like I said, it was a fro. Barbara suggested we do the fro because, you know, I had the whew going on. And then I also had Widow's Peaks here in the front because it's just a hereditary thing where it's light right here in the corners. So, you know, he was like, it's going to be real noticeable if you cut it da, 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 short in the beginning. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll take your advice. But then in the back where all of my locks was and parts and all that and everything my hair was like it was separated because my two locks that was in the front was pulling forward on my hair in the middle of my head like the crown like right here so they was pulling forward on both sides and then i had the rest of my hair pulling down back this way so here it looked like i was balding so i'm like yeah no i can't do that can't have that so <clears throat> that was definitely when i'm when I got the fro, I'm looking in the mirror after a while, and I'm looking at the back of my head like, it looked like I got a bald spot. Oh, so, um, yeah, we need to cut that. Cut it. Boom, cut that down. Go ahead, did that up out of here. So, I cut my hair off today. Took my guard, my, <clears throat> my clippers. Took my two guard. I don't have a three, so I don't know where my, I must have broke my three a while back. I got a five, a four, and then it went two. So I started with the four, but the four wasn't getting me right. So I was like, well, I'm going to just have to go two. So I went two guard, took my hair down. It's actually like the perfect length. Uh, I know, you know, if you watch wave videos, they always tell you, get the two guard when you go on waves and all that, because it keeps the, the, the hair nice and at a decent length and all that. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I, I put a two to the scalp, so we got them under here. Hair a nice little length, back down low, brushed, laid down with a little sporting. We washed her and all that today, made sure the scalp was right. And now we're going to, um, yeah, the next step for me, get this right in here. We're going to get this right, make sure this come back to my crown, come back together. I don't know what I can do about the widow's peaks. I really don't. I, don't, I ain't doing through all the, the hair follicle surgery and all that. So it is what it is. But we're going to get these waves right. And um, I'm going to show you all a picture of how my hair was when it was standing right here in the front. And all that. We're going to put a picture like somewhere in this area or somewhere, you know. Just so y'all can see how it was. Because it was bad. And then um, <clears throat> also... And we're going to show y'all the picture of how it was with the fro and how the back of my head was looking. And when I get an edge up this weekend, we'll pop back out with a picture of how my edge up looking all that with the uh, ways low cut and everything like that. You understand me? Because it's a different, it's a, it's a new look. It's different for your boy and all that. So yeah, we got to see how that's going to be and how that is. And, uh, yeah, 
I also got this product I've been seeing on Instagram and they've been promoting this joint so much. It's called like Black Luxury something. It's in a purple bottle serum for hair growth, promoting hair growth and all that. So I'm going to dab it on, you know, in my areas that's needed. I'm going to continue to wash my hair, oil my scalp, lay my hair down, brush it up real good. And we know we're going to get these waves busting. We're going to get everything busting, you know. It's going to be crazy. This, this is the process. I'm going to let y'all tap in with me. We're going from wicks to waves with our guns while we having fun. You understand me? Why did I cut my wicks? You understand me? I might have a picture of the bag because I do got a bag full of my wicks. I'm either. Let me go get him. Y'all about to take this thumbnail with me real quick. Cause... Oh, hold on. Cause just because I need y'all to take this thumbnail with me. <sighs> man, legs. R.P. Nip, man. R.P. to go. <sighs> we love you, dog. Love you for sure. Don't worry about what my house looks like. I got a decent little CD. Man, you feel me? But why did I cut my wig? They in the bag now, man. It's crazy. Hold on. Come here. And don't even stink. See, I kept my hair clean. Why did I? I'm going to grab one more. This is the thumbnail here. I cut them. I cut them. All right, I think that's it. That's it there. Boom.